Prosecutors trying to nail down a pattern of behavior for a former Pittsburgh police officer accused of using excessive force while arresting a teenager. Target 11 uncovering new details on Steven Matakovich. A year before this violent incident was caught on camera, we're learning of another confrontation between Matakovich and a security guard. Target 11 investigator Rick Earl joins us live, and Rick, prosecutors are going to try to use this against Matakovich to prove that this is a man with a history of violence. Yeah, Peggy, these are shocking new allegations about yet another alleged assault contained in this motion right here. Now, prosecutors filed this motion this morning, and tonight they are asking a judge to allow them to use all of this in the upcoming criminal trial. Former Pittsburgh Police Sergeant Stephen Matakovich, facing federal and state charges for a beating that was caught on camera at Heinz Field, is now accused of roughing up a security guard a year earlier. According to a motion filed by the district attorney that Channel 11 reviewed today, Matakovich responded to an altercation during a Steelers game in 2014 and punched a landmark security guard who had grabbed his shoulder. He then charged that security guard with aggravated assault. The DA wants to use this case against Matakovich at his upcoming trial. We asked Channel 11 legal analyst Phil DeLucente about this legal maneuvering. The Commonwealth is going to say this is a pattern, this is a scheme, this is a plan. The motion filed by the district attorney also includes more potentially damaging evidence against Matakovich. Of the 56 subject resistance reports filed by Matakovich since 2011, which are filled out anytime force is used in an arrest, 20 involve strikes to the head and face. 17 of those resulted in injuries such as a broken jaw, broken nose, or even knocked unconscious. And the court documents claim Matakovich never used the lowest amount of force, forcible handcuffs, which last year alone were used by officers about half of the time. It is a, a question of supervision and whether or not those subject resistance reports were scrutinized. And if a pattern emerged, why was something not done? Now, we asked the department if those resistance reports raised a red flag and if anything was done, but they declined to comment, citing this pending court case. Now, Matakovich's trial, his state trial, is set to get underway next month. I reached out to his attorney this afternoon, but so far haven't heard back. That's the very latest reporting live downtown tonight. Rick Earl, Channel 11 News.